Hi everyone, it's Rachel here. This is certainly going to be a fly by the seat of my pants video today because I am totally a mess. Now, um, basically uh, I've been packaging orders most of the morning and I've still got more to do but I got a really sore back so I thought I'd have a break and um, ladies who have orders from um, for journals um, I, I've got uh, five on the go at the moment for you and uh, so they are making progress yay um, and then I'll be on to the next five and so on but I am making progress and I was powering along yesterday but then I had to go out and so and today I haven't been able to get to them yet so that's kind of disappointing um, however I hope to to do something more today so um, and I'll finish packaging orders tonight when I'm watching TV or something like that so I've got these um, this is just some packaging here and so I thought I would um, alter these because they're pretty cool actually they've got a little what do you call that a gusset there and so I thought these could be really fun little um, things to decorate and hang over a page or a pocket and have papers or something I've got some old pages here now oh I know I wanted to go and wet my wet one mm. I knew I forgot to do something before I turn the video on isn't that the way now that is not very nice mold I did throw out some of those pages um, I'm just going to wipe it off there we go that can sit over there and dry I'm not too worried about it I have asked about it it's not a problem it just needs to dry so I'll use the other pages that aren't moldy um, so yeah I was thinking this is super old this is like 1829 or you know 1820s anyway and it's that yummy paper and it's quite strong I must say but these didn't come out very well from the book that I was altering um, so I just sort of put those pages aside and used them so I thought maybe I'll put that there just glue it onto there now I need to somehow find a glue book that would be good um, I'm in a big mess my room is not as tidy as it was before because I've been too, doing too many things and I can't keep seem to keep it tidy so this is not good uh, or maybe I should keep these super nice ones no no I think I'll use them why not so actually what I need to do is I probably should have coffee dyed them first they'd probably be nice coffee dyed wouldn't they now that I'm on a coffee dyeing thing oh well there'll be more okay now I don't want to keep that I think I, what I'll do is tear it we're pretty much near the writing really was about the right way to go or I could fold it around the corner no I don't want to do that either decisions decisions so I'll just tear that it's very nice paper and then I will tear that that looks straight to me don't know if it looks straight to you but anyway we'll just go with it. oh look I've torn too much oh what a goose now what am I going to do okay well that will have to be used for something else okay well that I'm not going to do that again I'm going to do this I'm going to put that like that and go like this probably the bit easiest way to do it was to glue onto the thing stick it down and then tear it that would have been the intelligent thing to do but we're not always intelligent okay great so I think which side do I like the best I mean it's a bit of a yeah I think I like the other side most so I am going to glue this and um, oh I'm knocking my um, microphone cord I hope it's not I'm not doing a silent movie it's always a concern always a concern now this one and the reason why I'm not folding it over to the other side is because it's got um, this fold up here and I don't think it would be it's going to be a little bit bulky to do that okay I've got my card here I found it it's all glued down that's great 
I don't know how many I'll get done because, as you know, the brain is not working properly. Oh, we're back into the stinking heat after our storm. Really piping hot. Must be like 35 outside today. Okay, so I need to cover up this bit here. And I've got my scrap box here. That Oh, look, I've got lots of scraps down there. Just a minute. Let's pick them up. Oh, there's my garbage. Oh, yeah, so I'm probably going to put a few more um, bundles in. These are the books that I have. Um, these are the books that I have and and they um, these are tar paper. Um, that looks like straw paper to me. Um, but look at this one. It's, yeah, it's like a very pale, buttery yellow, beigey sort of colour. So... Um, the next lot will have a couple of those and I don't have many of them. Um, I've also run out of uh, this paper here, the lovely recycled one. So I have to go and get some more of that before I list anything. I don't like listing it unless I'm sure I've, you know, that I've got all the bits and pieces. So there might be four or five more bundles going in, um, but not today, maybe later tomorrow. I'll let you know anyway when I do a video. Um, oh, that's what I got distracted. I was picking up my stuff off the floor. That's what I was doing. Come on, Rachel, get it together. Now that is my little garbage bin. So, this, I mean, this is this is how quickly I get into a mess. Um, now I've started sorting my letters into folders because I've, I've I've got many more to scan, but I've already started sorting them. So that way, I think that will go there, but I need to sort this out first. Um, that way um, I can sort of figure out how I'm going to do the kits because I'm not quite sure yet. I think I'll put that there because I don't know whether this will open up or... Oh, well, it probably will. Who knows? I don't know what I'm doing. Please forgive me. Please do forgive me. I really don't know what I'm doing. If anyone said, what are you doing? I'd say, dunno, in true Aussie fashion, dunno. Certainly didn't go to school to learn that one, did I? I think my English teacher would not be very happy with that. Okay. Right. Okay, so I need to tear that off. I'm not gonna fold it over. And I'm thinking this side, it's just coming to me now. I'm just going to make sure I've still got my creases there. This side, I'm wondering, I might, I might keep my gusset, so I'll just make sure it's, I can still see where it is. Um, this side uh, could be for writing, although it doesn't really need to be, does it? Because you can write on the front. Oh, I wanted to use my, my, um, what's it called? My coffee dyed paper and it's in the it's in the box so I'll use the printed one let me get that oh gosh I've got a mess here okay I can do it I just don't want to make everything fall on the ground you'll hear a big crash if it does okay got it okay where is it mm. let me see let me see sorry everybody please forgive me Graphics Fairy, Digital Courier. I could do. Okay. Hmm. Here it is. Here they are. Look, I can use these lovely pieces. Why not? Oh, well, I was thinking that was a perfect scrap to use, but it's not because it's not wide enough. So, oh, what about um, these ones that are already sized down? I could just use one of those, couldn't I? Okay, so first I'll tear this off. So Lily's back at the pool again. Three days in a row she's been to the pool. Did she go on Saturday? I think she did. 
No, Saturday she didn't. She went roaming around town with a friend. That's what she did. Oh, that's right. She was inappropriately addressed. Um, <laughs> addressed. Dressed. She was inappropriately addressed and um, I got into trouble because I made her get changed. Now that top is going to disappear. I am going to slip it in the bin. Might even do it after this video. Basically, it was a dress. She, I, you know, I allow her to go shopping with her friends, but she does make mistakes at times, um, and she will buy something that she shouldn't. Like, you know, that's not, that's not right. And so, anyway, she'd bought this. She tried this dress on in in white, and she didn't like it because it was a bit see through. And um, it was like a tubey sort of dress that she thought she might wear out and about into the beach and stuff. This was a while ago. And so then she thought, well, I'll get the navy blue. But she didn't try it on. And being not an expensive shop that she was at, um, the blue one was much tighter than the, the white one. And she really needed to go up a size. And so she's never worn it. So then she had the bright idea that she would, all by herself, like doesn't consult with mama, she trimmed it off and um, and decided to make it into a tank top. But even as a tank top, it's way too tight. And you can see the fabric stretching. You know how it lightens when it stretches? It wasn't a good look. She just, you know, but she gets it in her head that it's a good look, but it really wasn't. So I think I'll have to... It'll just have to disappear and then I'll just, and then when she's um, looking for it, um, I'll just play dumb. I'll just say, I don't know. You had it last. I didn't touch it. That's what I'll say to her, you see. Clever mama. Right, and I think I'll fold that one over the back. So, um, yes, that's what's going to happen. That way she can't blame me. I just pretend like I've, I, I didn't touch it. Actually, I don't even know where it is. I'll have to go and find it. So then I can make it disappear. Okay. So yes, I was speaking about these, wasn't I? Um, these letters. I'm going to um, get on to that. But you know, again, today, the day has nearly gone. It's already, um, even though that's upside down, it doesn't matter. Um, it's already, I'm going to fall off my chair too. It might help if I sit on my chair properly. Um, it's already like 3.30, so I would say the, the afternoon has nearly gone. And does that fit there? It does. And does it go over there far enough? Yes, it does. Will I do that? Then, oh, I'm not sure that I like that one. I think I would like a paler one. I think I would like this paler one. So let's tear that. Well, I should hand tear it. Hand tear it and then hand tear it there. So then I mean, when it's over the back, that's better, but I don't want it quite that wide. See, this is the luxury of having printouts. You don't have to worry about wasting your papers because you can just print them out again. Okay. All right. Oh, look at the mess I made of that paper. Now. Now, I will stitch around that when it's all a bit later. I don't think I'll do it on video. Never know, I might change my mind. Okay, I might only get one of these done. I'm a bit of a slow-mo today. Okay, so that's that. Then what? Then I thought I'd, I'm going to grab a whole lot of um, pages, papers to go in there. Something on my finger. So, for example, I'll grab this one. I think, I, I mean, I've done things like this before. It's nothing too, I think I did it with those other, with those other, um, I had something smaller, I think. So this body page, where I can tear it off there, and a bit more. 
and slip that one in. It's a bit matchy matchy with the background, isn't it? And then I can have um, No, I haven't finished yet. Maybe I could have a bit of music paper. So it could be just like one of those things like Nick the Booksmith did where um, they were, you know, just holding all your scraps. Put that in there. Um, what else would I put? Oh, I've got lots of scraps here. It's not a hard question. Yes, so this could be a place to put some scraps to use in the in the not in the scrapbook in the journal so I'm going to tear that one in half that can slip there and then you've got another piece here Do I have here? Got more. Oops, some of the bigger ones. So rather than um, sort of putting like a little sort of cellophane bag with scraps in, this is a nice way to collect up all the scraps, isn't it? pretty and then get this one so these are all left over from when I was cutting pages for the journal and then I've got more scraps in my scrap box so let's just grab some other oh here's a super old book page some of that in there. Well, that's too wide. So you can put lots of stuff. I love this box that my sister, it was very expensive that my sister bought me. Um, oh, here we go. This is what I wanted, some of this too. I'm not going to tear that. That can go in there. Um, so this will go in one of the journals that I'm making. Um, we'll put some of this in there. It was expensive because this is this um, printing is typical from this area, and it's natural printing with natural sort of um, fibers and things. And we can have some of this. as well and something else or oh, here's a bit more put that and then we'll put something patterned so it looks pretty and then I'm just I'm wondering I th yes I think I'll just um I will just do a little stitch across there and then you tear it out when I do that I don't know if that's the best way or not maybe I could put holes in them and then tie them in and then, you, yes, what about that? Put two holes in here and then tie them in. I think that's a good idea because that way um, you don't have all the little bits left there um, when you've ripped them out. And then you can tie in some more when you've used them. I had some lovely string in my happy mail the other day. I don't know where that's gone. So why don't I grab all my bits? Might have to do. Where's my? Where is my Japanese screw punch? Oh, there it is. So oh, I really need to. What I need to do is make sure. Okay, that should be all right. I probably should do it right here. So I'm just eyeballing it. 
Might need to do a bigger hole. Maybe would even have been a good idea to put a hole there. Did I go right through? No, I did not. Now the reason I'm going um, through here on top here so I get them in the right spot. I have to stand up for that to put enough pressure on it. Let me just put the paper clip on there. These are tangled just to hold it. Put one over there as well. I haven't decorated the front yet. Uh, now, I need, oh, I might use this. This is some antique string that I bought at the antique market. How about a piece of that? Just need enough to tie. Well, I've got a knot there, so I'll just. I don't think that's going to be enough. Just bear with me a second, guys. This is an idea that is evolving as it comes along. Now, what am I doing here? Oh, there we go. Okay. Don't worry, I get there in the end. Slip that in there. Oh, I really do like this idea. Totally inspired um, by Nick the Booksmith, although I haven't watched her video for a long time, so I can't remember exactly what she did. I am thinking in the next one I might put the hole right through to the front. So that way you can, you've can you got the choice, you can rip them out and then you can replace them. You can add more. So it's a kind of a nice thing to take away. I think maybe Gail's done something like this too. Have you done something like this, Gail? Have I watched something like that? I can't remember who, who I've seen it from. My only issue is, because I didn't put the hole right through to the front, which I should have, um, is that um, this, oh no, it's not. I just, if I make my crease better, it's not, it's not flipping up. That will be okay, I think. Yeah, so that's got all the pretty papers in there. And then I need to decorate here. Now you can have a label. You could have a label of, um, like you could put a label on each, have many of them, and these could be neutrals. And then you could have, like you could label them by colors, or you could um, label them by theme, or that sort of thing. So yeah, really, I really like that. And on the back you can write if you want to. That's upside down, but we don't care. So what am I going to put on there? <laughs> That's the million dollar question. Million dollar question. Where are my little boxes full of things? So again, as you know, this has not been sorted. Hasn't even been touched since the last time. I might just grab one of these. They are the perfect size. And I'm going to put a bit of that fluffy stuff. Now, some of you ladies called it gauze and some of you ladies called it cheesecloth. So I am still confused. However, it does not matter in the scheme of things. I think I will just call it... I'm more inclined to call it... Well, why don't I just call it cheesy, cheesy gauze? How about that? We'll just mix it all up. So that way, um, getting a little bit of both. 
no I'm just being silly just being silly just teasing you okay right do I want a bit of this yeah I think I'll have a bit of that so we're keeping it very neutral this one put a bit of that put a bit of that and a bit of this this stuff is going to go like hotcakes because the more the messier it is the more I like it got a bit of a sore throat actually I think maybe I just need a sip of water it's because it's hot sorry about that guys I had I had to do it my throat's hurting sometimes you just get a sore throat from because you need to have a drink of something okay and then I'm going to put some glue on the back of this and attach that gauzy stuff maybe I'll just call it fl the fluffy stuff and then you'll know what I'm talking about and then I'm going to put that there like so and that is done there we go and that can just slip into a pocket in your journal and you've got some scrap pieces of paper to play with and I know lots of people have done these I just can't remember I know I definitely saw it from um, Nick and um, oh I know what else I could do do I have it nearby I do not do I do I do I no I could round, I think I might round those two corners there, but I'll have to do it afterwards because I don't have the rounder nearby. So that's that, that's that one. Now we'll do another one. Let's see if I can um, be a little bit more adventurous and maybe do, I'm going to put the glue on here. That's what I said last time because I got it all wrong last time. So, oh, I could use this paper. Why don't I use this paper that's got all the glue all over it? So I'm going to put the glue here. And I will fold it over to that side. Oh, I didn't stitch around the other one, but I did glue right to the edges, so I don't think I'll have a problem. And I'm just going to glue this down. No, I need it that way. Do I need it that way? I think I do. I think so. That's not straight, is it? Oh well, it would just stay that way. And I'll just oh this I'm just having a bit of fun doing something different. Really fun. Oh, I've put the writing on crooked. Does it matter? What a goose. This one I'm going to see how I like the string going right through. Now, I, guys, if you get one of these, you'll be very lucky because that string is from the antique market. Okay, so that goes there. And now... I need to put something here. What am I going to put here? I could put that there. I'll keep that for something else. Um, I've got this piece of paper here. I could just put under there. We won't really be looking at that too much. Let me put the glue on here. It's always a good idea, isn't it? Oh, I'm having a bit of an idea for something different on the back. Just a second, we'll do that. Just hopefully I don't, don't. I hopefully I don't forget by the time I get to the back. That could be the issue. I might have forgotten by the time I get there because I've got a bit to do before I get there. Okay, so let's trim this off. Oh, I do like it when you get bits of packaging like this don't normally keep you know like clothing tags I know people do when they um, they alter them but they're normally in my opinion 
um, because I like to collage on top of them, I do find that then they're too they're too thick, and then it just all becomes too bulky. So that's why I don't tend to um, put it that way. Um, want to keep those because of the how thick they are, and are quite often they're not that you know as far as size is concerned they're not that big. So. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, I just don't keep them. I like to do bigger tags. Well, to be fair, I have been doing some very big journals, that's why. You know, big sort of format journals. Okay, and I'm going to need to put something there because I don't like that. Oh, I do like that. That was going to be one of my scrap pieces, but it doesn't matter. I think I'll put that there. That's pretty. Everything just seems to be getting in my way. I just feel like everything is in my way. going there that's good um, here I was going to do some napkin I think and then here I need to cover this up and um, I'm thinking oh yeah I was going to do something there I would just remembered I nearly forgot I did nearly forget I might put some of this here maybe put that there yep so many of these scraps to use up so I'm not concerned about them there's my little card and I would like something I say I would like something with a bit of colour but well, that's a nice piece to put in the scrappy front bit um, could put a bit of music paper About a bit of music paper. Well, that's too much music paper. Yes, I like that. Well, I think I'll just trim that off afterwards. And this music paper came from Aurelia. And I, and I did keep samples of most things from the lovely ladies, you lovely ladies, the other day. Thank you so much. Um, so yeah, I don't feel bad using them because I've kept samples. Okay, now what I thought here was I might put a little pocket. Don't know what for, but I could put a little pocket there. So I'm just thinking lots of scraps here. Now that I'm all organized, I can, oh, there's a tag. Um, I've got lots of scraps. So what? sort of I don't really have any color going do I it's just it's just really neutral that's pretty yes I think I'll just tear it a little bit because I don't want it to be straight I want it to be torn have the torn look and I think I'm going to put that there so wait a minute if I hold it like that I can trim that so I know where my boundary is. Lovely little piece of Stamperia paper. stick that down there and we've got a little pocket where for example you could put a tag in and you could write notes on it or something or you could put strippy bits in like this in there sort of thing I'll let it dry before I do anything else so let's 
put some, I'll just put those back over there. How pretty. Oh, they're cards, those ones. Oh, was that a card? No, that was a scrapbook piece. They're little cards. Oh, no, maybe it was. Oh, well. Anyway, I'm going to have another sip of water. So just prepare yourselves for the sip of water. Oh, dear. Okay, now here I wanted to put a little piece of this. Did I already open one of these? I don't know. Sticky tape, we're out the. Okay. Okay, oh, I know, I still had to uh, try that um, idea to um, stamp on these and then use them as backgrounds. That's, that's a really lovely idea. Thank you, whoever suggested that to me. Um, Because my throwing that out ha did upset a few, not upset, but you know, um, that some people were like, why is she throwing that out? Now, is this pattern somehow too big? It kind of is too big. Hmm. Well, I didn't want to have to pull out that box as well. Oh, I haven't put away the other ones. Here we go. There might be a smaller pattern here. I did like the colours of that one. I don't want red. No, none of those don't really go. They don't really go. Here we go. Oh, I've got this one already started. You see, I did. I knew I did. Well, I might go with that one. And not music, you know. Yes, I will, I'll go with that one. I've got one already open here. So... I think I'll just tear it down like so and put my glue on. Yeah, I think that's going to be good. And do I want it? I, don't, I think I'll tear it off. And to think, I did find my... That one of you know those pens that you all keep suggesting to me to use um, with the what am I getting that glue for this glue I need with the um, that you can put water in it I found it do you think I can ever remember to prepare it to do this sort of thing no but I will one day okay and I was wondering I'm going to tear that did I want a little piece of that's the wrong way this no but I thought I might like it there no I don't think I need it okay I'll put that aside for another day Put that over there now what i need to do is think about putting my holes in so i've got to get my pieces of paper ready super old piece this is like early 1800s this piece a piece of this so they're not um, necessarily for writing because they are for collaging. Just put the lid on the glue. Otherwise it won't come out anymore. If those over there, I've got this lovely old piece. Even a strip is fine. Just so long as you put your holes that you can tie it in. That have got that beautiful piece. We need to get a bit more colour in there. Oh yeah, I had these. A bit of um embroidery that's pretty and we probably can put a little bit of um, well, I wanted some of the real uh, oh yeah these papers and this will do and let me see and we'll put just 
Just seeing, oh, here we go. Here's a nice piece of coffee dyed paper, the real, and then we've also got the printed. Okay, that, and we can have that, and it doesn't matter. Oh, well, that's too wide, isn't it? So that can go in here. And then we've got this one. I might put that one on the top. Put that one. That one. We've got the real one. We'll put that in there. So you can see it. What else? Something else. I need another long one. Oh, this is pretty. out there I think oh I don't like that bit there oh that was the other part of it because it kind of looked um, a bit like wood okay so let's just somehow get all of these My phone was ringing. I've turned it on to silent, but I thought I heard some buzzing, but it wasn't. Okay. So they are going to go there, like so. So I need my paper clips. Here they are. And I'm going to paper clip it like this. Just being careful with my napkin, uh, just because I don't want to tear it. I need my screw punch. <laughs> And yeah, and I'm going to go about here. Hopefully, I get my I go a bit closer. See if you twist it around. Sometimes it will go. I'm going to stand up. it's just eyeballing you can measure if you want to if this is all too much all this eyeballing is just too much just you just measure it sorry about the noise i'm going through a lot of layers here because i'm lazy i don't want to mess about with anything else or my napkin didn't like it okay and then what's this oh that's the string from there got a lot of questions for myself today and so then you just, I'm going to put this through here, like so, and I'm going to eyeball it. Always cut a tiny bit more off than what you need. Put that there. And of course, um, I've already made these holes, so obviously when you run out of these papers and you want to put your own, you can, if you don't have a Japanese screw punch, you know with the same size you could just um same size hole i want to say um you could just um use an awl yeah i like that that's cool that flips up there and uh, you know you could um take that out lift this up and write notes you can write notes there oh and we need something here so for example and slip these little pieces in here what else oh I like this idea it's a bit of fun put that in there you could have a tag in there to decorate yeah cool bananas cool bananas where's the, the uh, oh isn't that gorgeous these are all my strips of paper see these I think so these are for collaging obviously And what a, a sweet little um, 
gift as well for someone who you know likes to do this sort of stuff what else do we have going on here we've got some letter um, I mean obviously there's some printed bits on the other side I mean you could use that in the collaging you could use that um, here's some oh here's a strip of coffee dyed paper why don't we put that in there so I like the pocket in the back I think that's really cool so how long have we been 45 minutes I wanted to put something else on here what I've forgotten oh I know I know I've got all these yummy, 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 yummy printed things, uh, stamped things, I want to say. I wonder what I would like to put on there. Isn't that cute? Oh, I had that paper. That's yummy. Um, an Iosia bee. Here you go. Here's an easy Iosia bee to get. I think I'm going to. I think so. I'm not sure. I haven't used my labels for a while, have I? I put that. Oh, it's kind of covering up the flower too much. No, I'm not going to put the bee there because it's covering up the flower. That's a piece of cardstock. No, that's not happening. Okay, well, that one I'm going to say is that. Oh, I've lost the other one. Where is the other one? Okay, well, I think that's it, but you get the general gist of it. So this one I didn't, um, I did not tie the string, but it's okay. Um, super pretty, and you can just slip that into a pocket. And this one I did tie it, and I like that. It keeps it a bit more under control. And this one's a loaded one because it's got things in the back. So that's kind of my thing for today and I'm really happy with that. I just have to round the corners and then they are done. So thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.